Separate. I don't want to take no one off. Yeah. Don't disrespect the Skip. Skip is a legend, street ball legend. But Sebastian Telfish should be on there instead of Skip. When we talk about accolades and everything else that he has achieved, was he three time state champion? Yeah. Three yeah. straight and back to back, back to back. Three peak. I right? think he should be on there from, from 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 going straight from high school to the pros. On top of that, he I think he should be on there for that alone. That. Like that's on what I believe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He had a decent career. Right. But you also got to think, and he did have a decent career, but it was also about the major impact that these players had on street ball at that time. The, the, and the skip was like, oh, it, was, it, was, it was nothing you could do with these dudes. Nothing you could do with them. Like nothing. So in that time, era, there was. Every time. I never take. I'm the same, bro. Who are they leaving out, though? He gonna come for you. From the city. I know that's your guy. That's why I said he gonna come for you. I'm just saying, when you talk about the rest of the guys... And you play with Skip there. yourself, and you saying this, that, that he shouldn't have been on it? Right. You make a conversation. When you talk about like, those guys there that I saw on there, the rest of those guys? Oh, nah. I, I see every level they put in work. No full games. Against stiff competition. I'm not talking about street ball. Street ball is different from when you are playing underneath the whistle and you gotta run plays and you gotta get guys involved and you gotta make shit happen on a daily basis. Like when Skip went to when he went to Fresno State, he was more of a addition point guard. He wasn't scoring like that. No. That doesn't it. make him not no point guard, no pure point guard. You got some point guards that's gonna shoot before they pass. You got some point guards that's gonna pass before they shoot. And when he got to the league, he was a mixture of both. And then, uh, he was a mixture of both. Make clutch shots, man. He had to show you how to run a team. That nigga is the real deal. I'm just saying. Oh, for sure. Those guys that were on there, Kenny Anderson. You know what I'm saying? Kenny Anderson. Those guys We've seen those guys. I've seen those guys at stiff competition when you're playing the Dukes. Who's complaining about this list? Georgetown. You know who's complaining about this list, I think, I gather? The people who are born and bred New York City ballers, but who made it? Who is it produced by? I you don't know? know? No, what KD? KD. Okay. KD. So is he slighted by not being, a, you know, from New York City and, and single-handedly picking out a few guards? Because I heard that Sham guard shouldn't have been on there. No, hell no. He had to be on there. He had to be on that. That's what I heard. He, he had to. And he played a couple of games he, in the league, he, though. Listen, you couldn't have the show point guards without Sam guard. Because he made the move? Yeah, because move. of the move. He made the move famous, but I heard he ain't make the move. He, who made the move? That's a good question. No, Leave it on move. the comments. He ain't make that move. He, he made, made it famous. He, it was some dude well, from Philly. I don't know his name either. Well, it was, I don't know his dude name. from Philly made the move. But he, he made it famous. Justice. He ain't that, make it famous. Really. Sham God is who made it famous. That's, that's real. And, and we gonna go where he made the move. We gonna Until leave that. The that's what's up. Because Sham what's God, up. that move, because now, they call it the Sham God. That's so right. respect to whoever that dude is, if, if it's true, sorry. That's you, right. You should've did somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the whole league is playing, the whole league is playing like street ball players. Street right ball now. all God day. playing like street ball players in the league right now. Everybody can carry. It's almost like <laughs> everybody can carry in the league, right? Like I, 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 it's, and I'm gonna say like this, this is how I, I weighed out with Ops Watch. I feel like Skip is like Steph Curry. Changed the game, right? And so everybody put Steph Curry as the best point guard, right? Which I would beg to differ. I don't think he's the best point guard ever. I think he's the best shooter ever. Best shooter, best shooter, shooter ever, ever shooting, shooting, shooting guard ever. ever. And I think Skip is like that kind of legendary where he came in and he changed the game. He made people look at basketball, street ball at a different level. Like, nah, it ain't just street ball. He just really can ball. He was able to adjust, though. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Jason he Williams was another one like that. That's exactly what he did. He showed that he's a street ball street player, ball but player. he can ball. Like. Right, and I put him in that category with like, that dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they talk about point guard, they always put Steph in there because of his position. Right, right, and right. I'm like, man, how could you be the point guard when, you point, when you're power forward? He doesn't even exist. Yo, I'm going to tell y'all who they miss it. No one said this man's name from New York City. Name some other guards. I'm going to give y'all a quick. Red Autry. He should have been in there? I'm just saying, we said name some guys. Sure. I'm just saying. Dave Edwards, you know what he's going to say. Dave Edwards. Uh, shit, who else, man? Are y'all biased because y'all from Queens? I'm, I'm going to hold you up now. Nah, Dave Edwards. A little bit. 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 A little
Lloyd Daniels, I mean, is he considered man. a point guard? Nah. He wasn't a point. He wasn't uh, a point? But he's a guard. Right, right? Khalid Reeves wasn't a point guard. He was a two, right? No, he's a point guard. He's, he's a, a point, point guard. guard. I thought Derrick Rose played the point. Yeah, point guard. Derrick Rose played the point. Derrick Phelps. 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 Derrick Khalid Reeves, Khalid Reeves, Adrian Autry, Adrian Autry, Red, 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 Jerry McCullough. Yo, Red, I know Jerry McCullough. Jerry McCullough. <laughs> Jerry McCullough. What was the point guard from Seton Hall that went to the finals that year in 89? Daryl something, man. What's his name? He had a hard dribble, man. He was a point guard, man. Mm. Yeah, man I'm going to look that up, man. But another, another dude from the Bronx that was tough. I got one uh, for y'all. Y'all, ain't, y'all missing on me, and he floating around. I'm gonna give it up, y'all. Fuck it. The abuser. The abuser. Jamal Tinsley. Come on, man. Oh yeah. Stop. What's up? Brooklyn's on. Come on, man. Shouldn't have been on that. Yeah. Come on, crap. You know, you know what? They, you know what? We can get this whole story about, but they probably thinking there's a lot of players that could have been on there. How long would that show would have been? We. I'm not sure, cause his name was ringing bells. His yes. name was ringing bells. His name was ringing bells, man. Tell you. We can bring when we bring the barber chair out. We can bring that one. No, I'm just. <laughs> oh wow. But Jamal Tinsley, man, for the most part, man, man, his story alone getting to the league was crazy. You feel me, like. He ain't really play high school ball really like that on the resume. You know what I'm saying? He ain't. <laughs> but shoot. Need another one ain't leaving out, man. Ready for this? Sweet Pea. Lloyd Daniels. Yes, he was six, eight, six, I just six, said Lloyd. Five, I just asked him. Yeah, yeah, I just mentioned Lloyd. Yeah, I just mentioned Lloyd. I guess he said it's government, so you ain't So we all know it's, you know, point guards. Like, yeah. Man. Was he the point guard? That's what he, he was everything, man. He was everything. He was more like the shooting three type. But hold on, I think now, now that I'm thinking about it, what's up with Pearl, Pearl Washington? They mentioned him? Okay, I'm about because I was about to say they, they got to mention they had Pearl Washington. So he deserves to be on this. What I'm basically saying, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, man. The hands down. That's what's up, man. Got your boy Crap the Zone in here, man. Andrew Jackson, graduate from what year? What year you graduate, Crap? 91, baby. 91, man. Dunk Chet back then at MSG. I remember that. 1990. I yeah, man. He's not winning the trophies like a chocolate cow. That's what's no way, no how. Everybody remembers that, yo. You well know. What, what was that like? Just you know what I mean? When 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 you when the, when the announcer just came up to you, was it pre-planned or was it just it was, freestyle? It was, it was pre-planned, my man. Teddy Hatcher <laughs> told me to say, "God bless the dead." Teddy Hatcher gotcha. told me to say, "Say when you go up there, you'll say this." Right. And he just said it to me one time, and when I went up there, it just came right back to my wow. house. Wow. How nervous was it just playing on that stage, Madison Square Garden? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, shit. Y'all done took it, man. Y'all wrecked it was, shit, man, with, with Coach with Coach Granby. Hell of a coach, man. What was it like playing coach. with Granby, too? You know, God bless him, you feel me? He was, a great, he was a great coach. I mean, playing on that type of stage is bananas. I mean, like, you know you're going to have your nerves and all that. One, you're playing on the garden floor. So right. It, it's already crazy already. But, uh, it just, the feeling was just, after the first couple of minutes, you settle in. Like, so yeah. You settle in, but it, it's definitely a crazy feeling, just a crazy moment to have. Mm-hmm. That, that's what crazy pull that up. But I just had pulled up uh, pictures with me laying out on the garden floor. Just in amaze, enjoying, observing the moment. What was it like your freshman year getting into Andrew Jackson and whatnot? And was you like, you know, foreseeing going there? Was you recruited? You know, back in the days it was a lot different. I was recruited because I was a bad kid in Brooklyn. So wow. I just started playing basketball the year before mm-hmm. I got to Jackson. Gotcha. So Herman Turner brought me over there. So that's how I ended up coming to Jackson. I didn't know nothing about Jackson, the history of it, like yeah. the all that, until I actually got there and realized. That I'm in a great spot. Was it a culture shock leaving Brooklyn to go to Queens? I mean, different boroughs and stuff? Yeah, definitely. definitely right. Definitely. Yeah. It, it was such a change. I didn't even go back to Brooklyn for a while after. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to soak this up and get used to this. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say better, but it was different than 
what I was used to when I grew up. Yeah, you played JV, Fred, no. Fred of the Gates, you're straight off of Boston. Straight, straight off. <laughs> they wanted you to get ready <laughs> early. Early, early. This hey. is raw talent. They're like, nah, yeah. we need you on Boston. And who was your backcourt like back then, uh, playing like, as far as like your guards? Yeah, Dave Edwards. Dave Edwards. Teddy, Edwards, Edwards, Teddy Edwards, Clark. Teddy Hatcher. Oof. My guards was crazy. Then we had, later in the year, we had uh, Warren Ross, uh, Steve Frazier. Yes, sir. Yeah. Steve Frazier came yeah. through from uh, Malloy from playing with Kenny, for, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cool. shout out to Steve. Yeah, yeah. 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 play with him. Known for having point guards. That, that was a, that was that was the thing with Jackson. Mm -hmm. Point guards ruled Jackson. Right, all the way back from Edward Brothers, Boo Harvey, Rob Cousy went to Jackson. Yeah, yeah. The tradition is big. Yeah, big, big, big. Dave, man, he was the pure point guard as well. What was it like just catching alley oops from him? Oh, man, it was beautiful. Games was beautiful. <laughs> made his job <laughs> easy. It, it, it made it too easy. Because, and, and a lot of those people don't even know, like, I miss a lot of them because I'm watching him just do work in awe of him. Right. In the game, like, it, it, he makes it a lot easy. Oh, uh, man. The year he averaged, what he averaged, 44.1? Mm. It was amazing watching him. I mean, amazing. Like a layup factory. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he had a jump shot, too. Right. The crazy right. thing is, what they don't talk about, he had 44 points that year, but they don't mention the eight assists he was at. Mm. You know I mean? he, was, he was killing eight assists. He was doing his just steals. Right. He was killing him here. Ted Portwine backup buddy yeah. right there. He's pretty, you know, the, fast for having that was a deadly backup. Deadly. In that city, nobody was they was averaging thirty and thirty. Thirty and thirty. Forty and thirty? Like <laughs> easy. Like there was no one fucking with Ted Portwine and Dave Edwards back up. I I I well I haven't seen two that I believe that right. they messed with them. Mm -hmm. They was Problems. And then y'all get Steve late on in your uh, senior? Uh, my, my senior year, we got Steve. Like, right. Came in for the last year. It was said that he had like a 60 point game. Is that is that somewhat yeah. floating around? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yo, man. man. He can shoot. He can shoot. Daddy, can, daddy can shoot. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Steve Frazier. Shout out to Steve. I remember going to the garden, seeing him play against Iverson, man. He had a bad leg during that time, but man, Steve was not backing down from him. Talking mad trash. I was looking at him like, yeah, represent Queens to the fullest and whatnot. You feel me? I'm sitting there wondering about, you know what I mean, back in the days, um, as far as rivals, you know, who, who, who would you consider to be a rival in Queens with Jackson? Like, what, was it like Jamaica? Was it uh, Springfield? Who was so what? Hillcrest was like that? Okay. Hillcrest. Shout out to Hillcrest. We didn't Hillcrest. play them in our division, but they used to come to the Thanksgiving Classic. That was a big show. We had Brian Walker. Yeah. Derek Johnson. Colin, yeah. Uh, Cliff. Colin Walker. Colin Walker. Oh, my God. Shout out. It was crazy. Um, who else was a big rival? that was crazy? August Martin. August Martin. August Martin was a big one. That was a gangster, man. man. Stanley King, the big seven for the end of the uh, Wake Forest. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Set has to. What was it like playing against your boy uh, Stacy Castle? Y'all get a chance to play yeah, against Far Rock? Rockway or Far yeah. Rockway? yeah, that's my guy. To me, that's he was guy. like MJ, man. When he came to the gym sometimes. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, yo, even though we, yo, I mean, we beat him one time. He came in our locker room. Was like, yo, what's up? I was like, damn, we just beat you. But he had like thirty eight old niggas. Like yeah, easy, like you know what I'm saying? Like easy, easy, man, for real. Yeah, that's my guy. Oh my goodness, yo. Yeah, we had some good games at Far Rockway too. He channel gave us some good games too. Mm -hmm. Any Brooklyn team that you know was good contenders with y'all? Cause I know when y'all used to go to some of these classics, you know, what I'm saying we didn't, we didn't really play too many teams out of maybe boys and girls we played. Right. Um, St. Francis Prep. St. Francis Prep. Yeah, they they here in Queens. I don't really play too many teams out of Queens. Right. All our teams were playing here. We broke them with them. Even when we played boys and girls, they came to high school. Right. So you done with high school. What do you do after high school? What, what colleges was like at your door? Like, yo, Kraft, yo, we want you to come here. I know you. I know your, your easy, mailbox was full. Like, like you feel me? It'd be easier to say <laughs> schools didn't want me to come. Right. You know what I mean? You know I'm that. not being bragging or nothing, but it, it was, everybody wanted me. I mean, you know, yeah. I was good at the time. So right. Everybody wanted me, but I ended up messing up and going to, uh, didn't get my, 
graduate. Uh-huh. So I even going out to get my GED. Mm-hmm. Went to Sam Jack in Texas. That's what's up. Yeah. What was it like traveling away from like you know home, going lovely. down there? It's like <laughs> lovely. I mean, I, I was homesick, but it was lovely being out to, to see people. Yes. Different. Yo, yeah, yes, uh, yo. I know it's a different kind of a match. You know what I'm saying? With uh, with, with going home. Oh, uh, we're going home and getting homesick. But what made you stay in that environment? Like, you know what I mean? What, what, what? Ball. 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 Right. Fucking mommy came back yeah. too early. What the fuck are you doing? The fuck? Why are you here? You remember that time when he went away, Say, You remember that time when he went away, Say? When nigga came, when he came home from friend, we like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? Right. You ain't missing nothing. Because some people get the misconception that you missing something when you go home. I remember doing an interview with Booger, you know what I'm saying? He was telling me about, you know, he went home. I used to see this games, skip games. Everybody from Queens, I stayed up. And they played over, they played someplace else, like in West Coast. I stayed up, Stayed up and watched that shit. Stayed up and watched that shit. Man, listen, man. And nigga, take 11.30 game. All right, 10.30, 11, all right, I'm there, I'm watching. You ain't going to bed till about 1 in the morning. Right. That's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Around the same time, though. Same time, I'm watching going that. Bed. You go to sleep that time, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I live for those games, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I was a big J- Jerry Tarkin fan. Yeah, chewing a towel. Come on, man. Someone's in a tense, tense, tense coach. Yeah, yeah, So I was, I was a big time hit because he always gave everybody a second chance. Right. He gave every player that fucked up a second chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knowing you want straight power now, now, I got you. Tinsley. Tinsley was now, yo. So, man, your, your, your college experience, like, did you play all games your first year? Or did you? I played all games. I didn't play full games. Right. You know, we said Jack was a two year college, so they had the, the, the seniors, you know, as I say, the second year players. Right. Playing most so they could get the exposure to go on to their D1 schools and all that. Right. But I played, definitely played every everywhere I went, I played. Name a notable player that, you know, went to the league that you could talk about that you played against, that you somewhat matched up well with. Antonio McDice. Antonio McDice? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Antonio McDice was tough. Yeah, Antonio McDice was tough, bro. He, he, he definitely liked it. I gave him a good one. You gave him a good watched that game. 25 and 10. 25 and 10? Easy, bro. Oh, man. If, we, if I would have been there and been his advisor, we would not be sitting here now. We'd be someplace else doing this interview. No, no doubt. Big no. time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, how was it like back in the day? Right, right. right. That's what it would have been back then. Hell yeah. yeah. We didn't know no better. We didn't know no better. I would have flew overseas. Now, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You got paid me. That overseas, that's my next question. Because overseas, was it popular back then? You know what I'm saying? Was it like... Yeah, I did three years over there. Oh, you did? Okay. Where'd you, where'd you go? France. 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 Okay. I know the whole culture experience over there was totally different. Yeah, different. That's what made me come back. Right. Because that's the whole culture. The talk, you know, I always had a translator with me every time I went somewhere. So I was like... I was refusing to learn the language. Yeah. So I came home with the dream, the hope to go to the league. So mm-hmm. That got crushed. I know you were super homesick. No, man, that ain't even a word, man. Man. Every, every year I wanted to come home to play your life, man. I ain't gonna home. Right. What's it like now as far as the landscape with basketball now when you watch it on college level or NBA level? You know, do you think it's back where it was? I like it. I'm loving it actually because basketball is back where it's supposed to be. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, mean, top, I think the youngsters is back loving the game the way we used to love it back in the days. You yeah. Know, the boxes full, all the tournaments and backpack. Right, right. Yeah, I'm coming back yeah. out of this yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. Salute, man. Yo, Jim's in the rock, holding it down. It's your boy, Ed Crab. Legend from Queens. Andrew Jackson. You feel me? Legend. I think they need to just retire your number on some realness. They need to, <laughs> they need to retire. Nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, because every time I think of Jackson during the early 90s, it's like your face appears, you feel me, like holding it down and whatnot. And, um, you know, I know the loss of Cranby must have, you know, devastated the whole basketball world in, in New York City and whatnot. One of the um, longest coaches in, in um, uh, you know, in New York City. As well as the coach from Cardoza, he's been coaching for Ron um, McClary. Ron McClary, shout out to Ron. Shout out to Ron, <laughs> out to Ron you feel me? Definitely. Shout out to Blacktop Streetball Association, too. That's, that's the new league we're starting up. Word. Yeah, that's the new land on 
and one major you start up a, a league like That's gangster. August 20th, we're going to be out in New Jersey, Newark, in the oh, front word. of City Hall for our festival. That's and what's now up. It's up. That's what's up. And I'm hearing that. check out a little podcast thing going, too. That's what's up over yeah, here. Yeah, we got Chuck. He got the podcast, too. I got the podcast, too, going on. Yeah, man, Chuck, man. Right here, you in the home. studio. Damn. Slash Barber Shop. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's a smoke shop. We just smoke. We just smoke. You know what I mean? But, you know, Call we just damn. chopping up sports all day, every day, unfiltered. And we just giving our honest opinion, you know. Salute. Some shit we, we don't need to do with your boy. Chopping up sports. I know you're talking shit. We're going to call somebody to do it every day. That's what's up. Every week. We even call each other. Our calls are probably better than our shows. Y'all need to record those then. Y'all need to record those. Our phone calls are probably better than our shows. For real. Play these off the rip. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying? 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 And he beat yeah. Jack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, that game was yo that yo that gym was so packed, bro. That gym was so packed. What, what was the feeling like just being able to go beat your old team that just like? I felt like you know, hey, maybe he came like yes. Right. I knew I could play. I knew I. You know what I mean? I knew I should have had a shot. You know what I mean? Right. You know, shout out to my man Warren, you know what I'm saying? But I should have been a starting point guard at that time. Sorry. To my Warren Rowe. That's my dude. Shout out to Warren Rowe. And he had, he had a, at that really time, his jump shot was really quick. And I think me and him would have been a better backcourt. Together. Stevie, Stevie yeah. had the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Stevie had the three. Yeah, yeah. His dude here would have been at the five, you know what I mean? Anybody can oh, yeah. bet the four. It doesn't right. matter after that. Just throw it inside. Yeah, Crap no, 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 with it. Crap with it. No, he was an animal at that time. Man. Couldn't be stopped. You know what I'm saying? That's I remember the Yo Real Thought is a true story. So I transferred to Cardoza, right? And uh, in Clario, uh, I'm going to Thanksgiving classes, right? Right. So that Monday, I go to practice, you know, right? We he says, with his wife. He comes to me first thing. Yo, when? so how was it? How'd they do? Right. I looked at him. I don't know what's up with that. I just kept walking. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he said, he wow, called his wife. Back. I'm like, right. Coach, yeah, we don't want to see somebody. them, man. Wow. Just like I said, right. we don't want to see them, man. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yo, you don't really see a high school team getting 125, 116 back to back games. You don't see shit you like, see like that. that. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. You know, high scoring game. 115, 127, 116. High scoring game. Jim's was packed, man. Glue. What? I know you do. Glue. People don't understand. I was like, Coach. This whole time to see them in the playoffs. That's all that. Right. It, it, it ain't gonna be good for us. <laughs> I was just being a hundred. Like it's my homies. So right. I play with them every day. That's bad. Right. Right. So and other twenty. And play with them together, right? Coach, man, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. The crap that ain't making. Yo, you can't have two guys getting thirty-five plus a game. No. You cannot have that, yo. In high school. That game. You know what that was been like all season. All season. Salute. Herber, gems yeah. in the rock, spraying them gems, man. Salute to the baller. This guy getting 35 again. Who got the house over there? What? What the like, coach, man? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, what we, we in for? We're going to buy a Bruce first. <laughs> right. What we in for? Oh, yeah, man. It ain't happening, coach. Dead ass. Like, he was like, they that good? I said, coach. I'm telling you, they're that good, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen nothing like this shit in a long time. Right. Like, they look like a mini college team, like a Juco team. That's what it really is. That's how it was, yeah. Playing against high school to that mm -hmm. time. Everybody in their height was just tall. Oh, man. This nigga Stevie jump shot was automatic. This nigga crab was blocking shots. Grabbing came from Malloy, made it unfair. Hell yeah. This nigga T was fucking doing like a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> 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 this nigga was fucking, uh... Stacey Hoffman out there, defense, yeah. rebound, yeah. block shot. This nigga was 5'9", 5'10", at best, mm -hmm. but had fucking bounce like crazy. Like crazy. His, 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 his first step and his, his second bounce was so fast that when he was going down, he was going back. Look at that. Look at that. Now, one coach came up and said, yeah, he was talking. How do you get these rebounds? And he left me, so you must walk with his shit. Right. Timing. We got smoke, man. Mm-hmm. Warren getting a double double. Happens, 12 and 11 and just Same, might even getting 15 and 6. I don't even know. I ain't gonna lie to you. But your stock went up though after that it's game like though. That. The stock went yeah. up, man. The papers, yeah. the papers yeah. went crazy yeah. after that, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my, my, my claim to fame, man. I can't lie. Now, but I'll take it, though. Yeah. I mean, I will take it. You know, it, I mean, people get to beat their old school, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
with a coach that really didn't really fuck with you. you right. Know what I'm saying? That's what's and up. And you get to come beat him. That's what's up. That's yeah, yeah, man. And I went to lock him out. Yo, good game, y'all. Good game, good game. That's <laughs> <laughs> some real sucker shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, some real sucker shit. Yet. He ain't want me. Yeah, but he's my niggas, though. Good game, y'all. Good game. You know what I'm saying? Roll up out of this. So that, no. that thing is, right? Mm -hmm. Stevie, we all from the same hood. So Stevie had to grow back with us. We all together. Wow. It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> it, was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible, man. We went to a liquor store afterwards. Man, we drove, right? He on one of the farmers. It was terrible. Terrible, it was terrible man. man. <laughs> he was like a sad puppy and shit. Everybody dapped me up. Me and I. I was too young to take a shot, but they was going to give me a drink, though. <laughs> they was going to give me a shot. I might have took it, but oh, it, was, man. it was all good, though. You chose to go to college after your high school career? Oh, hell no, man. I went to the block, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was all fucked up after that. She went downhill. You <laughs> said block right university. Oh, nah, man. We don't encourage that on the gym, but yeah, some people yeah, find yeah, their yeah. way, though. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. I learned my lesson. I only black had a little, legend, though. I had a little, little hiccup. That's all. A little hiccup. That's what's up. This is not for me.